Okay, we are moving on to um, writing slope-intercept form from two points, two given points. So in the previous lesson, you learned how to take a point and put it, and a slope, and put it in point-slope form. So let me remind you the point-slope form was y minus your first y-coordinate equals slope parentheses x minus your x coordinate. So in order to do that and rearrange it and transfer it to slope intercept form, you had to have a coordinate and you also had to have the slope. And unfortunately in today's lesson, we don't have the slope. So let me jog your memory and see if you remember how to find slope from two points. It is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We did this a lot um, first semester or earlier in the year. I can't remember when exactly it was, but this is your first x and y coordinate. This is your second x and y coordinate. So we're going to take our y2 and subtract our y1 from it to find the slope. So let's first calculate the m, which is the slope. So we're going to take negative 1 minus 3 and put that on top in the numerator. And then on bottom, we're going to take our x2 and we're going to subtract our x1. So negative 4 minus 0. Okay, you're just going to use your calculator and say negative 1 minus 3, and that should have been negative 4. And then negative 4 minus 0 is also negative 4. And I hope you remember that anytime you have a number over itself, anything divided by itself is 1. Okay, so here's what we have. We now have our m, it's 1, and we now have a point. We actually have two different points. So we're going to go back to our point slope formula that we just learned, and we're going to write out an equation using 1 as our m right here. We're going to put a 1. And for our y-coordinate and our x-coordinate, we're just going to choose either this point or this point. It does not matter which one. Um, I'm going to choose this point. It, it really does not matter which one. So let's set up the equation. So y minus my y-coordinate, that's going to be negative 1. So y minus negative 1 is going to actually be plus 1. We talked about this the other day. If it's a negative, it's going to become positive because minus is part of the formula. Equals slope which we just calculated, which is 1, and then parentheses x minus my x-coordinate. And the x-coordinate I'm choosing is the negative 4. So again, it's like minus negative 4, which is why it's going to change to be a plus. Okay, normally I'd say, okay, you're done, great, this is point-slope form, but it wants us to write it in slope-intercept form. And that is y equals mx plus b. So, we have one more thing to do. Now that you have it in point-slope form, we are just going to rearrange it and get y by itself to get it into slope-intercept form. See how y is by itself in slope-intercept form. So the first thing you want to do is distribute this 1. So 1 times x is just 1x. Squish it together. 1 times 4 is just 4, and it's positive 4, so we're going to put a plus in between. And then on the left, we're just going to bring everything down. So y plus 1. You're almost done because y is almost by itself. The only thing hanging out here is the plus 1. So in order to move it, we need to subtract 1 to the other side. Cancel, cancel because plus 1 and minus 1 is 0. Bring down your y, which is now by itself. And we have 1x, or I'm just going to call it x. You can keep a 1 there if you want. 1x is the same thing as x. And then these can get combined. So positive 4 minus 1 is positive 3. So this is your final answer. So here are the three steps you're going to have to do to each of these problems. You are going to have to calculate the slope by doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and getting that slope. Then you're going to have to choose one of your ordered pairs and your slope and together write out your point slope form equation and then you're going to have to distribute and move it all around to get y by itself so that you have a slope intercept form formula. Okay, I'm going to just work through a lot of these with you um, and then we are going to not quite be ready to try it on our own yet today but soon. So let's go to number two. So again we're going to start with m. 
which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to take negative 3 minus 2 and put it on the top. So negative 3 minus 2 over x2 minus x1. So 1 minus 0 on the bottom. Negative 3 minus 2, put it in your calculator, is negative 5. 1 minus nothing is just 1. Okay, I know you guys know this, but any number over a 1 is just the same thing as leaving it its whole number. So negative 5 over 1 is just negative 5. So we are going to use negative 5 for our slope, m. So let's write out our equation in point-slope form, but instead of m, we're going to put negative 5. And we're going to choose one of our points. <clears throat> doesn't matter which one. I'll use the one with a 0 this time. It's going to work out a tiny bit differently, but you might actually like it. So I'm going to put y minus my y-coordinate, which is 2, equals slope, which is negative 5 parentheses x minus my x coordinate, which in this case is 0. Okay. So let's go ahead and distribute and rearrange because we need to get y by itself. Negative 5 times x is just negative 5x. Negative 5 times 0 is just 0. So you can put plus 0 if you want, or you don't even have to write anything at all, which is kind of nice. So anytime you have a 0, you really just don't even need to write it at all. You could just have put negative 5x. Um, if you want, I mean, can, so I'll go ahead and write it just because I want you guys to see what it would look like if you went ahead and distributed. Negative 5 times negative 0, no such thing as negative 0, but whatever, is nothing. Bring down your y minus 2. Almost done. We just got to get y by itself. So to get rid of this minus 2, we do plus 2. Okay. So maybe it was good that I had a 0, because you're going to add 2 to it. These cancel. Bring down your y. Bring down your negative 5x. And now 0 plus 2 is 2. OK, I'm going to go ahead and give you a shortcut. Any time you have 0 and then a number, that is the y-intercept. If you think about it on a graph, 0 up 2, it would be a dot right there. And that's your y-intercept, and that's what this b is. We always rearrange it into slope-intercept form, which that's your slope. Yes, we calculated it. And this is your y-intercept, 2, which it would be 2 because we know that one of the points is going to go through two, 0, 2. So this is just a hint for all of you challenge math kids. If you ever have a 0, once you find your slope, you can stop because that's your slope. And that is going to be your y-intercept. So let's double check because number one was like that. I just didn't pick this point. If I would have picked three, our slope was one. Yes, hidden invisible one. And our y-intercept came out to be three. And yes, it did. So anytime you have zero and then a number, that's going to be your y-intercept and you don't really have to do the work. OK, don't get that confused, though, with when zero is your y. That's not the same. It's only when 0 and then your number y is a number. That's your y-intercept. This is not your y-intercept. That's an x-intercept, and it doesn't work like that. So we have some work to do. All right, so let's start by calculating y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 5 minus 0 goes on top. <clears throat> Excuse me. 1 minus negative 4 goes on bottom. 1 minus negative 4. All right. 5 minus 0 is 5. 1 minus negative 4, those become pluses, so that would also be 5. And a number over itself is 1. So our slope is 1. So let's write out point slope form. I'm going to choose this point. Doesn't matter which point you pick. This is going to be my x1, this is going to be my y1. So when I go plug it in now to point slope form, it goes y minus my y-coordinate. So y minus my y-coordinate is 0 equals slope, which is 1, parenthesis, x minus my x-coordinate. And it's negative 4. So instead of putting minus negative, I'm just going to change it to plus 4. 
All right, all we need to do is rearrange it and get y by itself, which let's just be smart about this. Y is already by itself, because minusing zero doesn't even have to be there. Anytime you're adding or subtracting zero, it's just, it is what it is. So Y is already by itself. The only thing we technically have to do is distribute the one over here. So Y equals one X, which I'm just gonna call it X. If you wanna put the one there, that's fine. One times four is positive four. Okay. Let's move on to number four. If I'm going too fast, you guys should pause and make sure you're writing all of this down. Okay, m equals y2 minus y1 on top, so five minus negative two. Five minus negative two. Over negative three minus negative four. Be careful with that. Negative three minus negative four. You have to put both symbols there. Or you could change it to a plus, but that's, that's how you're going to do it. So five minus negative two is the same thing as five plus two. Just put it in your calculator. It would be seven. Negative three minus negative or plus four. Put it in your calculator. That would be one. And we know that any number over one is just that whole number. So seven over one is just seven. All right, choose one of your points. It doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna choose this. And we are gonna plug these three numbers now, your slope and your point into point slope form. So Y minus my Y coordinate. So Y minus my Y coordinate, which is negative two, so I'm gonna make it plus two equals slope, which is seven, parentheses, x minus my x coordinate, which my x coordinate is negative four, so I'm gonna make it plus four. All right, all we gotta do is distribute the seven and then move the two. So I'm gonna start by distributing the seven. Seven times x is seven x. Seven times four is 28. That is a positive 28, so we put a plus in between. Bring down your y plus 2. The only thing keeping y be from being by itself is plus 2, so we need to do the opposite to move it over here, and that is minus 2. y equals 7x, and then 28 minus 2 is 26, and it's positive 26, so be sure to put a plus in between. There you go. All right, let's do a few more. Number five, we gotta start by finding the slope. So m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So negative four minus negative two. Negative four minus negative two. And then on the bottom, we have another negative four minus four. Negative four minus four. Okay, negative four minus negative two is the same thing as plus, so that would be negative two. If you're not sure, just put it in your calculator. Negative four, if you have negative four in your lunch account and you subtract out four more, you're now down to negative eight. All right, this can get simplified. First of all, if you have a negative over a negative, a negative on top and bottom, negative divided by negative, it's gonna make it positive. So this is no longer gonna be a negative fraction, a negative slope. 2 eighths, if you divide both of these by 2, it's going to be 1 fourth. So our slope is 1 fourth. All right, and then you're just going to choose a point. I have a tendency to just choose the first point. It doesn't matter which one. And I'm going to write it into point slope form. So y minus my y coordinate, which is negative 2, so I'm going to make it plus 2 equals slope, slope is one fourth, parentheses, x minus my x coordinate, which is four. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, you're just gonna distribute the one fourth. One fourth times x, squish them together, it's just one fourth x. One fourth times negative four, I'm gonna have to use my calculator for that. One fourth, oops, one fourth times negative four is negative one. 
So it's going to look like minus 1. Okay, and then I'm just going to bring down y plus 2. All right, to get y by itself, we've got to get rid of the plus 2. So we're going to subtract 2 to the other side. Cancel these out, and we're almost done. y equals 1 fourth x. Negative 1 minus 2 more is negative 3. If you don't believe me, put in your calculator. <coughs> That's supposed to be a 3. That doesn't look like it. All right, let's move on to number 6. Let's start with our slope. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 3 minus 1 goes on top. Negative 5 minus 5 goes on bottom. 3 minus 1 is 2. Negative 5 subtract 5 more is actually negative 10. All right, this simplifies. There's not a negative on top and bottom. There's only one, so it does stay negative. But if you divide both of these by 2, that's going to simplify to 1 fifth. So negative one-fifth is our slope, and I'm going to use 5-1 for my point. So let's write point-slope form. y minus my y-coordinate, which is 1, <coughs> excuse me, equals slope, which is negative one-fifth, parentheses x minus my x-coordinate, which is 5. Okay, distribute, get y by itself and then we'll be done. Negative one-fifth times x, just squish it together. Negative one-fifth x. Negative one-fifth times negative five. Is one, positive one. So we'll put plus one. Bring down your y minus one. All right, and then the only thing we have left to do to get y by itself is to get rid of this minus 1 by adding 1 on both sides. These cancel. Y is now by itself. Negative 1 fifth x. 1 plus 1 is 2. So plus 2 because it's positive. All right, a couple more. Let's find our m first y2 minus y1 goes on top, so negative 4 minus 2. Negative 5 minus negative 2. Negative 5 minus negative 2. Be sure you get all of those in there, or you're going to make a mistake on your number. So negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. Negative 5 basically plus 2 is negative 3. A negative divided by negative is going to make this whole thing positive. And you can divide out 6 divided by 3. 6 divides by 3 evenly. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the slope, sorry about that, Val, is 2. So we're going to use 2, and then we're going to use, I'm just going to use that point. <clears throat> All right, let's write it out in point slope form. y minus my y coordinate, which is 2, equals slope, which is also 2 parentheses x minus my x-coordinate, which is negative 2. So negative, negative is going to make this plus 2. All right, let's distribute 2 times x, just squish it together, 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. That's positive 4, so put a plus in between. And then bring down your y minus 2. All right, we're almost done. To get y by itself, get rid of the minus 2 by doing plus 2. Cancel, cancel. Bring down your y. Bring down your 2x. 4 plus 2 is 6. All right, we got another one here on the front. All right, we got to calculate our slope first. So that is y2 minus y1. Oh, so 3 minus 3. This is going to be interesting on top. On bottom, you have negative 2 minus 4. All right, 3 minus 3 is 0. It really doesn't matter what we put on the bottom because 0 divided by anything is going to be 0. But if you're not sure, put it in your calculator and double check. 
0 divided by negative 6 is 0. So we have a 0 slope. This is going to look different when we get to our answer. So let's go ahead and set it up as if you had no idea what we're doing. This is my slope. It's 0. This is my point I'm using. It's 4, 3. So y minus my y coordinate, which is 3, <clears throat> equals slope. Let's just go with it for now. x minus my x coordinate, which is 4. However, here's what you're going to find really quick. When you distribute a 0 times anything, it's going to be 0x and 0. And 0x means 0. So 0 and 0 is 0. So there's literally nothing on this side. We're just going to leave it nothing. Nothing, nothing. So bring down your y minus 3. Let's go ahead and get y by itself. So the only thing you need to do is add 3. Oh, by the way, if you were thinking you'd put 0x, 0x's means there's no x's, so you don't even need to write it. So you write nothing, which is 0. These cancel, y equals 3. Now, we talked about this on your last test. You had to draw a line that was a y equals line. A y equals line is a horizontal line on the 3. There's no slope. It's a flat slope. There's a 0x slope which means this is zero fun from Slope Dude. So it was like this. And you probably knew that when you saw the two points, because if you think of where you would plot these two points on a graph, <clears throat> you'd put the first one at 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1, 2, 3. And your second dot would go at negative 2, 3. So you'd go negative 1, 2, up 1, 2, 3. So look what's happening here. It is a horizontal line on the 3. I know it's not a very good graph, but if you see that our y's are the same, then y equals 3, y equals 3, that's your equation, y equals 3. If the y's are the same in both, you, should, you could have shortcutted this and said, oh, I noticed both y's are 3, so y must just equal 3, and it does. In fact, can we just skip to number nine and look at what is happening in this one. <laughs> Sorry about the bell again. The y's are not the same, but what is the same? The x's. So you can go work this one out if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you that if you noticed these y's were the same, so the whole equation was just y equals three. If these x's are the same, you can work it all out, but guess what you're gonna get? x equals negative 3. So if the x's are the same, your whole equation is just x equals whatever that is that's the same. If your y's are the same, your equation is just going to be y equals whatever number of y was the same. I hope that makes sense. Okay, we're not, we're not going to finish this whole page because I'm going to save a few of these to do um, tomorrow, but I just want to do a few more while you guys are on a roll and then I'm going to leave you with a couple to try on your own. Okay. So let's start with finding the slope. Okay, first I wanted to look. 5 is not the same as 4. 5 is not the same as negative 5. So I'm sorry we can't do a shortcut on this one. We're going to have to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So negative 5 minus 5 over 4 minus 5. All right, negative 5 minus 5 more is negative 10. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. All right, any number over 1 is just itself, but it's a negative over a negative, so it's going to make the whole thing positive. So this is going to be just positive 10 for the slope. All right, I'm going to use my first point because that's just a habit. We're going to write it out in point slope form. So y minus my y coordinate, which is 5, equals slope, which is 10, parenthesis x minus my x coordinate, which is 5. All right, we want to distribute. So 10 times x, squish it together, 10x. 10 times negative 5 is negative 50. And then on the left, I'm just going to bring it all down, y minus 5. Okay, we need to get y by itself. So we're going to get rid of the minus 5 by doing plus 5. Cancel, cancel, bring down your y, bring down your 10x, 
negative 50. Don't forget that's a minus 50. So that's the same thing as negative 50 plus 5 is negative 45. All right, I'm going to do two more with you, and then I'm going to leave you with only two to do. I know that doesn't, that doesn't math, but we're going to leave a couple of these for the next day. So I'll do 11 and 12 with you. We're going to start by finding your slope, m, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So negative 5 minus 4 goes on top. 3 minus 4 goes on bottom. All right, negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. Put it in your calculator if you're not sure. Want to double check. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. All right, any number over 1 is just that top number, but it's a negative over a negative, which means it's going to be positive 9. <clears throat> All right, again, I'm going to choose the first 2, but it doesn't matter. You could choose 3 and negative 5, and you're going to get the same answer I do. So let's put it in point-slope form y minus my y coordinate, which is 4, equals slope, which is 9, parenthesis x minus my x coordinate, which is 4. Okay, let's distribute this 9. 9 times x is 9x. 9 times negative 4 is negative 36, I hope, I think. And then bring down your y minus 4. All right, last step. To get y by itself, get rid of this minus 4 by doing plus 4. Cancel, cancel. Bring down your y, bring down your 9x. Negative 36 plus 4 is negative 32, I think. All right, I'm going to do one more with you guys, and then I want you to try 13 and 14 on your own. Number 12, off to the side, you're going to start by doing m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 5 minus negative 1 goes on top, 5 minus negative 1. And on bottom, you have negative 4 minus 2. Okay, 5 minus negative 1 is 6. Negative 4 minus 2 more is negative 6. And a number over itself is 1. But you have a negative, so don't forget the whole thing is negative 1. So your slope is negative 1. The point I'm going to use is 2 negative 1. OK, here we go. y minus your y coordinate, which is negative 1. But instead of putting minus negative 1, I'm going to change it to plus 1. Equals slope, which is negative 1 parenthesis x minus my x coordinate, which is 2. All right. Let's distribute this negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1, be careful here. This is a negative times a negative. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. So change that to a plus. And then bring down your y plus 1. <clears throat> okay, last thing to get y by itself, we need to get rid of plus 1 by subtracting 1. So they cancel out. y is by itself. Bring down negative 1x. I'm going to call that just negative x. If you want to leave the 1 in there, it's totally fine with me. It's just a little bit more simplified when you have a negative 1x to call it negative x. Positive 2 minus 1 is just positive 1. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause the video, and I want you to, or well, yeah, pause the video, and I want you to try 13 and 14 on your own. If you are completely lost right now, and you have no idea even where to start, you can let the video keep playing, but I recommend pausing the video and truly trying these on your own, and then you can push play and make sure you can fast forward and make sure you got it right. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try just these last two. All right, if you're checking your work, you should have taken negative 5 and subtracted negative 3, and then 3 and subtracted 2. That would have been negative 2 over 1, which is just negative 2. Then depending on which point you picked, and it doesn't matter, you would have set up your point-slope form equation, 
something like this or these three and negative five might have been in these spots. It, it won't matter because once you distribute and get y by itself, the final answer should be the same no matter which point you pick. So when you distribute it, if you use the numbers I did, you would have got this. <clears throat> and then the last step you would have done is subtract three. So no matter which points you picked, your final answer should have been y equals negative 2x plus 1. All right, double check that you did your math right. If you didn't get this exact answer, fix it. All right, for the last problem, I hope you truly tried this on your own. You should have taken negative 4 minus 5 on top and then negative 1 minus 2 on the bottom, and that would have been negative 9 over negative 3, which divides out evenly. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And it's positive because both of these should have been negative. Negative divided by negative is positive. Then, depending on which point you picked, and it doesn't matter which one, you would have set up your equation. I'm going to do y minus 5 equals slope parenthesis x minus 2. But once you distributed and got your final answer, you should have had the same thing I did no matter which point you picked. Okay, last step for me is add 5. Again, if I'm going too fast or you couldn't do this on your own, you really need to pause the video and make sure you're understanding all of this correctly. Okay, negative six plus five is negative one. All right, the reason we're not doing these last two is because we're gonna start class the next time I see you with a review over the, this whole thing by me doing these two with you. So um, I would like for you now to take a photo of both pages. The front should be all completely done, all eight. <clears throat> so, yeah, eight. And then the back should be completely done through number 14. So take a photo of both front and back, and it needs to have a, the same amount of work I showed. You should have. And this is what you're going to turn in today for your homework, classwork. <laughs>